the countdown clock is on to the first exam. There's that lead in time. Undoubtedly, there's going to be stress, anxiety from the point of view of the student, but also for everybody else in the home, the mothers and fathers. I remember it in my own situation, that feeling of almost like helplessness. Absolutely. And what I always say to families that I work with is that the whole house does a leaving cert. I know it's specifically focused on the student, but the, the whole house can be stressed around, around the leaving cert. And it can be a very difficult time for parents as well and siblings um, of, of children that are, that are doing state exams, be it the leaving cert or the junior cert or even college exams as well. This applies to all types of stressful exams, I suppose, really. Um, so when the whole house is doing something like, like the leaving cert and the stress levels are, 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 are very, very high, uh, for me, the parents play a, a very, very important role, a pivotal role. Um, and their main their main purpose is to keep everything as calm as possible for the student and to support them and to encourage them as much as they can. Yeah, but it's a difficult thing knowing when to get involved and when to stand back. I mean, clearly you wouldn't want, after each exam, a Spanish inqu- inquisition about the questions. Like Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's actually not a great thing to do. It's, it's to, done, it's, it's over. It's done, it's over, it's over with. And I remember um, a story I heard about Tiger Woods at his prime. When he took a bad shot, he took two steps and forgot about it. And I think we need to do something similar with the exams. As soon as it's done, it's done. You can't do anything about it. Dissecting it with your friends uh, straight after it, or just dissecting it home with the family, isn't a great no. idea because you, you only start no. questioning yourself and it prevents you from Self-doubt. focusing. Exactly, and it prevents you from focusing on the next exam. So what can the parents do? Create a, how do you create a peaceful and calm environment when there's so much anxiety and stress going on in the head of the student? Absolutely. The, what's important is to remain in what I would call maybe a coaching role as opposed to a parenting role. Avoid criticism at all costs. If your child isn't doing as much as you perhaps you would like them to do or as they should be doing, they know that themselves as well. Um, children are very, be are very reinforcing good. that negative. You're reinforcing a negative for them, whereas constantly encouraging them might or probably will have a better effect. No, it mightn't straight away, and we can get frustrated very quickly, and we can slip back into criticizing again that oh, you're you're not doing enough. You need to go up now, and you need to study more and more, um, and that just over overwhelms people. There's a very important concept in positive psychology called the Pygmalion effect, which means that young people generally rise up or down to the expectations that ad- the salient adults in their lives put on them. Um, and so they react to encouragement positively, they react to criticism negatively. E- exactly, exactly. As we all do, as we all do. You know, now there's a little bit of, of criticism needs to happen in all of our lives, to, or else we're not going to learn. Um, so it's 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 re- it's uh, not even criticism, but I suppose um, guidance is yeah. the right way to put it. That maybe you should be doing this, but communicating it in a calm way. And by by what I mean by a calm way is that as a parent, you may need to remain calm while your child is stressed and perhaps lashing out at you, which is the biggest challenge. Which because is like the biggest be, challenge that of anxiety all. and stress will can lead to moodiness and temperamental absolutely, carry on. Absolutely. And you need to suck that up. You, yeah, you need to be the sponge for because that. Because the home needs to be that sanctuary for the child, is it, yeah. where... Yeah. Where, where where the dinner's on the table and the house is warm and exactly you know exactly and there's the order comforts. and there's routine in the day and did you keep the child to routine and um even in previous videos that we've we, we've done here today that we, we we were talking about kind of getting routines together bedtime routines exercise connecting with friends and family um and it's the parents' role to make sure that this that, that the student is doing all of these things. How do you, you do know? that though if the child or the son or the daughter comes home having finished one leaving certificate exam and they're hitting the books and they're just constantly stuck in the books and there's another exam in the morning you can't kind of intervene and say you need to take time out can you? Absolutely I think you can, can you? and as a parent I think you can and you should because th- there there comes a, p- a point where you're not really learning anymore you're just staring at a book and you might convince yourself that you're reading the words and, but, but they're not really going in. But you have this top of mind learning where you can you know they take things in for 24 hours and they're gone again. And, and, and it's gone we, you, there might be a little bit of that as well but I suppose to, to, to realistic revision um, um, it, it, it is very important as well, and break, uh, building breaks into 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 revision time, and that's is the very role important. of the parent. I know we want to stay with the parents on this. Absolutely, it, it's the, it's the role of the parent to manage that. So you, it, it depends on the child and the the, the, part, the people that know their the children the best are their parents. There's nobody will know them any better than that. So whether your child is somebody that will go up to the room and study for four or five hours at a time, then you need to perhaps build breaks in for them. Maybe your child is, is, is the child that isn't going up and doing it. And maybe you have to encourage them to go oh, up yeah. and maybe entice a little bit that, look, if you can do an, uh, an hour tonight, you know, maybe we, you, you can go out then and maybe do your exercise or do yeah. go out with your friends and things like that yeah. as well. You know, so it's all about balance. And it, each household is unique and different. And the parents have to have to have to balance that and balance the stress of the whole thing themselves. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But not 20 questions about, you know, how did you answer this? Did you answer that one? Show me the paper. 
all of the kind absolutely, of stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. No, it, it's good to show interest, um, but not but but not too much interest yeah. as well. Regardless you know. of how anxious or stressful you might feel as a parent, you know, because you, again, I, I go back to the point of I felt kind of like helpless because you want to help, you want to be part of it, but you can't do the exam for them. But you can, but you can help in the fact that you can create the calmness, you can create the support, you can coach them, if, if, if you like, uh, what you think is a good way of putting it. And that's how you can help. Because parents often tend to think that they, they'd love to go in and sit the exam actually for them because we don't want to see our children suffering or we don't want to see our children yeah. stressed and yeah. things like that. And yeah. it's a natural parenting instinct. Yeah. Um, and that's perfectly okay. We hate the exams and we hate the exam structure. Absolutely. And we hate the fact that all these years are crammed into a... A ninety-minute exam. It is unfair. Absolutely. We feel all that. We and parents are fe- and parents are feeling all that. The children are feeling all that. But that's not getting anybody closer to where they no, want to go no, or, to, or, or to, to to being successful yeah. in in their exams. But the best way to come to come around that is to, I suppose, you're there. You will have your own stress. You need to, I suppose, channel your stress somewhere else. So the the parent needs to do take. Uh, adopt some positive things as well like doing their exercise and connecting with their friends yeah, as well yeah, you know yeah, to deal yeah, with their stress yeah. um, but it's your job I suppose to manage the young person's stress as well because as adults we, we, we'd we hopefully be better at managing stress than what young people would do as so it's our job to, to guide them through, through yeah. these and regardless of how you feel you know? don't let your children know how you really feel in that sense with that anxiety create a calm home well, I suppose encourage to, yeah. them tell them that they're valued and loved absolutely and um, I suppose one thing to do is maybe there's two things that come out of that for me the first one would be to tell them the truth maybe as well a little bit you know what I mean that look we're all feeling a bit stressed about this but we need to manage it you know communicate with them you know, don't, don't hide any from, from them you know, I want you to do your best but I'm going to help you as much as I can yeah. Yeah. if Tell me that if what I'm doing isn't helping you, and we can look at something. Uh, we can look at something. Is, else it, is well, it too you know? negative to say nobody's expecting 700 points or six straight A's? You know, we hear of these super intelligent students, but there's an awful lot of students out there who really do their very, very best, uh, and they get fairly okay results. But for them, it's straight A's. You know, it's as good as they'll ever get. But that's where most of us fall. That's no, where but as a parent, yeah. should we say, is it po- is it right to say, Era, do your best? Absolutely. Just do your best, and that no matter what the outcome is, we're still going to be proud of you. Um, once we can see that you're, well, not even once, once but you, we see you, you put the you're putting in. an effort, and we can see that. Yeah. Um, or maybe you could do a little bit better, better effort. But no matter what happens, we're still going to be proud of you. This this exam, be it junior cert, leaving cert, college exams, is not going to define you, and it's not going to look make us look it's at not you. the end of the world. Not the end of the world, but you're still going to be the same person to us at at the end of all this. And I think we need to be realistic, realistic as well. We have to remember that I could be wrong on this statistic, um, I, uh, but eight percent of the population that sit the leaving cert get over five hundred points. Like that's a very small proportion. Mm-hmm. The, most of us fall in the middle mm-hmm. somewhere. You know, be it be, between your, your three and your five hundred points. You know, mm-hmm. and that's that's what's realistic. And for most of us, that's enough to get us onto the yeah, next step. Yeah, we love the child, yeah. not the result. Absolutely, absolutely, hundred percent. And I think that that gets confused. Um, most parents would agree with that sentiment 100% but it just gets confused in the communication to the student you know when we're trying to encourage and I suppose we're, we're encouraging a little bit too much and the reason you're encouraging too much is because we're parents then we're looking at third level we're looking at college yeah. options we're looking at points yeah. we're trying to drive them on yeah. uh, and it's I mean there's an awful lot of pressure on kids now it is absolutely and again it's, it, it is a balancing act for parent and parents and a very very difficult one but to, to, above all else the support the encouragement to not put the pressure on, not saying that I want you to be this in five, ten years' time, you know, yeah. or I want you to get this many points. I want you to do your best. I know that you're capable. I know that you that you're fantastic. You know, you're really encouraging the child, bringing their, yeah, bringing, working on their self esteem, uh, making sure that they feel good about themselves no matter what. And young people that feel like that generally will do well and They'll get thrive. to where they, uh, and they will and they will th- they will thrive going forward. You know, yeah. so th- as a parent, through this time, the best thing that you can do is to manage it. It is going to be a stressful time. There might be lashing out. There might be arguments in the house. Try to keep it as calm as you can. And above all else, just make sure that the relationship with your child is still intact when this is all over in a few weeks' time and it'll be over before you know it. Good man, Alan. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thank you.